Hey guys, I'm currently streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash nastylol so you can get notified the next time I go live. Unless you've literally been under a rock for the past few months, you should be well aware by now that Fortnite is without a doubt the hottest game out right now. Fortnite has taken the world by storm with over 3.4 million players at any given time, with that number only growing more and more by the day. However, the immense growth that Fortnite has displayed, although it's great for the game itself, it's seriously hurting some of the other more popular games out there. In this video, I'm going to cover exactly how and why Fortnite's success is ultimately resulting in the downfall of League of Legends. If you disagree with one of my points, or if you go on to think of one yourself, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. With all that being said though, let's get into the video. Let's start things off with arguably the biggest reason that Fortnite is killing League of Legends, and that is the fact that Fortnite is simply a new game and thus there is a lot of hype around it. Although Fortnite has rightfully earned a lot of attention following its release, it's certainly not the first game to see immediate success after opening up to the public. It's pretty common for people to get excited about a game right away, and eventually they will return to the other games that they were playing beforehand. The gaming world has seen this kind of behavior time and time again, so it's really no surprise. It's very comparable to what a lot of relationships go through, which is something called the honeymoon phase. For those of you guys who don't know or who aren't familiar with the term honeymoon phase, it essentially describes how couples can sometimes seem happy at the start of their relationship before realizing it's not really what they thought it was. It's likely that the hype for Fortnite will eventually die out, but at least for now the hype is definitely taking a lot of attention away from League of Legends as well as other big games. Another huge perk that Fortnite has over League of Legends is the fact that it's playable on multiple platforms. League of Legends is only available to those that have a PC able to play on, so it kind of only addresses the PC gamers out there. Fortnite, on the other hand, is very easy to play, very accessible, and just about anybody and their mother could get to the game. It's available on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and now they're even releasing it on mobile, which is just a huge step. Unlike my previous point where I mentioned how the hype and the whole honeymoon phase around Fortnite will eventually die down, this perk is something that Fortnite will always have above League of Legends. League just isn't one of those games that can be played on a console or on a mobile game, so League will never be able to entirely match that. Another big reason that Fortnite is killing League of Legends right now is due to streamers. Now there's actually two different types of streamers that have a large impact on the game's growth. The first type of streamer that's making a difference is League of Legends streamers. These are the people who are well known for streaming League of Legends and they've done so for years on end. And what's hurting the game is now these streamers are now starting to move over to playing Fortnite and streaming Fortnite. I mean, it's completely understandable that these streamers would want to jump on the hype train and start playing Fortnite while it's really popular, but the problem with this is it's only giving more views towards Fortnite and less views towards League of Legends. Some really popular streamers, just for example, that have moved over to Fortnite include Pokimane, Nightblue3, and even Dyrus. Streamers are, in a way, the face of the game. They represent the game for the community. And when these streamers are moving towards another game, it just brings the entire community with them, and that's why we're seeing a lot of people shifting over to playing Fortnite and watching Fortnite streams rather than playing and watching League of Legends. The other type of streamer that is having a large impact are the new streamers. These are the streamers like Ninja, TSM Myth, and King Richard who are growing with the game. And when I say that they're new streamers, I don't mean that they just started streaming, but rather they just now moved over to Fortnite whereas in the past in their career they have played and been known for other games. But the thing is, is since they have moved to Fortnite, they have grown immensely in their channels, and since they are able to grow alongside the game, it's not only making themselves popular, but it's also making the game as a whole a lot more popular as well. It's really difficult for new streamers to get noticed playing a game that has been played for years on end, because again, there's already those streamers who have kind of set themselves as the representatives for this game. They are the face of this game, so it's really difficult for new streamers to get into that mix. On the other hand, these streamers who are playing a brand new game have the ability to grow their platform, as well as help Fortnite, in this case, grow at the same time. So that is why streamers are having such a large impact. Another huge factor that really sets apart Fortnite from League of Legends is the fact that it's easy to learn and easy to watch. I'll jump into why it's easy to learn in just a second, but let's first talk about how it's easy to watch. For starters, let me show you a clip from a Fortnite stream.
Now, even if you aren't familiar with the game, you probably were able to understand what was going on in that clip there. They were shooting each other from across the map while trying to build their own base and take down the enemy's little base that they were building. On the other hand, let's take a look at a clip from a professional League of Legends game. Now, if you play League of Legends, you probably were able to understand a little bit of what was going on there. But for those people who are not entirely familiar with the game, or those people who haven't played the game whatsoever, they probably have no idea what's going on in all of that madness. I think that given that example alone, it's pretty easy to understand how people would be more likely to watch Fortnite over League of Legends just because of how easy the game is to watch. As for why Fortnite is easy to learn in comparison to League of Legends, I think it's just the simplicity of the game. I would say that personally, it took me around 30 games, which really isn't all that much, to get a grasp of the game. You just have to figure out the whole concept around looting, how to outplay your opponents, how to build, all the really basic mechanics of the game, and that doesn't really take all that long. On the other hand, it took me hundreds and hundreds, if not a thousand games before I was able to entirely understand League of Legends. And the reason for that being is because there's so many factors in League of Legends. You have to take into account shot calling, neutral objectives, farming, tempo, where the jungler is, building properly, playing the correct champions into correct matchups, counter picking, where the jungler is, build paths, skill orders, macro play, micro play, and then above all, the factor about League of Legends that makes it so difficult to learn is how many champions there are. In Fortnite, every single player has the same capability, it just comes down to outplaying them and having better mechanics in order to kill your opponent. In League of Legends, on the other hand, there are hundreds of different champions, so everybody is going to be doing something different, so then not only do you have to understand how your champions work, but also how to outplay the enemy champions given their specific kit. It just takes a really long time to get a grasp of all these things and all the different ways that champions work and function in League of Legends, and I think that that's why it is much harder to learn in comparison to Fortnite. Another reason that I believe Fortnite is killing League of Legends is a little bit debatable, but at least in my opinion, I think that the fact that League of Legends has longer queue times and longer game times is seriously hurting the game. Now, some people actually prefer to have longer game times, but at least from my perspective, I feel like this hurts the game more than it helps the game. In Fortnite, you can queue up and get into a game within a matter of 20 seconds. League of Legends, on the other hand, takes sometimes between 5 to 10 minutes to find a game, depending on the elo and depending on the time in which you are playing the game. When it comes to actually getting into the game, Fortnite games can last anywhere from 30 seconds to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes if you're really pushing it. In League of Legends, though, 15 minutes is the bare minimum you have to play in a game. And that's only if your entire team decides that they want to forfeit at 15 minutes but the average game time is somewhere around 30 minutes. I think the best comparison that I could make would be to look back at a very popular mobile game that we saw about three years ago called Flappy Bird. Now, if you played Flappy Bird, you would know that it was highly addicting and it thus had to be taken down from the App Store. But if you were one of those people that played Flappy Bird back then, you would understand firsthand that it was a very addicting game because of how easy it was to press play again. Well, the same thing goes for Fortnite. It's very fast games, and as soon as you get out of your game, it's very easy to just queue back up and get back into a game immediately. This is a huge reason as to why Fortnite is so addicting and it has so many players right now, just because of how easy it is to get into a game, play one really fast, and whether or not you win or lose, you can just simply jump right back into another game. League of Legends doesn't have any of those perks, you have to wait a super long time just to get into the game. Once you do get into the game, it's going to take around 30 minutes on average just to finish that game, which for obvious reasons makes it less addicting. The final point I want to make as far as how Fortnite is killing League of Legends is the toxicity of the community. League of Legends has been known for a very long time to have a toxic community, which is just a huge downside of the game. I mean, it's so bad to the point that I have people leaving comments on my videos 
saying that they want to be good at this game and that they want to get better, but they're too scared to play ranked because they know that if they mess up, they're going to get flamed for it. At the end of the day, this is a video game, and no one should ever have to be scared of getting harassed for playing it. Fortnite, on the other hand, doesn't have this problem whatsoever. And in my opinion, it probably has the nicest, most kind gaming community out there. The first reason that I think this is the case is because voice comms, even though they are enabled in the game, are very easy to turn off and are thus optional. Another big reason Fortnite is able to avoid toxicity is because one of the more popular game modes is a solo game, which means you're playing by yourself and you don't have to depend on playing with other teammates and communicating with other teammates. And the final reason that I think Fortnite is able to avoid toxicity, unlike League of Legends, is because when you are playing with other players, most of the times in squad games, these are with friends. The fact that playing with friends is so popular is absolutely great for the game, because people are less likely to flame a friend, or at least they'll do so in a joking way, whereas people are very likely to flame and be negative towards people that they don't know. That is, however, going to complete my list of reasons as far as how Fortnite is killing League of Legends. Again, if you disagreed with one of the reasons on my list, or if you personally came up with one yourself, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you did go on to enjoy this video, though, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to help the channel grow. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.